With more facilities making changes to avoid the spread of COVID-19, it may be more challenging to see a doctor. Right now, telemedicine is becoming an important tool used to limit our face-to-face -face interactions to keep both medical professionals and patients healthy. And we welcome via Skype orthopedic surgeon Dr. Julia Lee from Sierra Pacific Orthopedics. Welcome, Dr. Lee. We appreciate your time. If you could explain to us what is telemedicine and what are the benefits, especially now during this period of time in our local community and in our country. Well, thank you, Stephanie, for having me uh, here, first of all. And telemedicine is actually, it's a great, another way for us to um, help our patients without having everybody be um, right in the same area or having a crowded waiting room. So for us, when we have telemedicine, it allows us to do a video chat with our patients from their home. Um, we're still able to see, so if, we're able to, if we need to check on wounds, if we need to check their range of motion, we're still able to see our patients and do our exam, um, just all from the comfort of their own home. And really, truly, at this point in time, from the safety of their own home. Um, for our patients who are a little bit older, who might have some health issues, uh, right now is a great time for, uh, it's a great time to utilize this tool so that they are, they don't have to uh, leave the, leave their house. They don't have to be exposed to different things they don't need to be exposed to. Um, and certainly we can still provide them the care that they need to, especially post-op, checking on range of motion, um, checking on how different uh, modalities are uh, working or not working for the patient. If we need to order more tests at that point in time, we can order them and hopefully have the patient do those tests at a later point in time but still be able to have care provided to them uh, safely here in our community. And it really it's for the safety of patients of course but also it the is. safety of your staff too so we're all true. we're all vulnerable in, in this particular situation. Does this involve um, a certain type of technology we need to have a, a laptop and and is it feasible for elderly patients who may not be you know too savvy on on this new type of technology? Um, you know, I, I think it, it, I think it is. Um, so most patients need either a phone with um, with video capacity. So flip phones don't work, but any any sort of smartphone does. iPhone, Galaxy, or a Samsung Galaxy, anything that has a, a video phone capacity can do it. Computers can do it. So if you have a webcam at home or a laptop or even an iPad, uh, anything that has video capacity or video chat capacity um, can work. We have a great team of of um, assistants in the front who are able to walk patients through. Um, the process of downwards. Right now we're using Zoom and um, we, we have a great team that gets the patient set up with, with Zoom, getting it downloaded, getting it accessed uh, into our system here. We have several rooms set up on our website that you actually click into a room. Um, you're actually able to see a physician. We're able to do our visit. I can show you your, um, your imaging, your x-rays from last time, your MRIs that were done. I can show you, we can take a look at the notes and everything can be done uh, over telehealth and uh, hopefully be able to provide the care that they need uh, in a safe fashion. Well, this makes so much more sense, especially in your profession where patients are often in pain as they're recovering from surgery. So it makes it so much easier for them to just stay home and, and, and still get the information from their doctor. Is this something new or are you, is this something you've been using anyway? And what I'm wondering is once, you know, we're past this pandemic period, do you think that, that really the care, post-operative care is really going to shift more to telemedicine anyway? Is this kind of really going to be a shift in, in the type of care that patients receive in the future? Um, I, I do, actually. A lot of this uh, this was opened up to us because a lot of the re uh, government regulations were changed once the pandemic hit. This was a better, safer way to provide care for our patients. Um, that wasn't available to us before, but I think um, going forward, even after pandemic, this provides, this will be um, great for patients who want a consultation, maybe from uh, who are driving far away or who don't have a ride at that point in time. It may be a great way for patients to have better access to care. Uh, some other states do have more access to this, especially more rural areas on a regular basis, but hopefully going forth even after the pandemic, we're still able to, to access this and have this sort of um, to have this sort of service um, going forward in here in California. All right. Well, it does seem like a great option, certainly now and as we look into the future. Orthopedic surgeon Dr. Julia Lee with Sierra Pacific Orthopedics, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate your time. Have a good one. You too.